Hey everybody, I've got a uh, commentary. It's Team Deathmatch on a state using the stereotypical Russian class. Uh, I decided that I wanted to start something new on this channel. It's uh, going to be a series. It's going to be called Story Time with Roger. And what I want to do is I'm just going to share stories over my life. Uh, over the past several years, you know, I've had my fair share of interesting stories. I'm sure all of you have. Now this story that I want to tell is probably, is it's quite a doozy. You know, it's not something that happens to everybody. Some of you people might actually not even believe me how ridiculous this, this story is. So anyway, I was living in an apartment, and this was about like eight months ago. And I had been talking to this one girl, and we'd been flirting back and forth, and she was from Altoona, which is a town about two hours away from me. So, you know, I wasn't really planning on going to visit her because you know fuck that but then the one day she said hey I'm gonna be up in your area like this weekend do you care if I crash at your place and I'm like oh yeah no that's no problem and she said uh hey I'm, do you care if I bring my friend with me I mean like do you have any roommates that he could uh or she could hang out with I was like oh yeah I got this one roommate I'll pretty much fuck anything that moves and she was like, oh, well, that's great. And so the day came. Uh, she showed up with her friend. And holy shit, her friend was so disgusting. Her friend was fat, dirty, like every possible turnoff you could have. And so I texted my roommate, Justin. I said, whatever you do, do not stay here tonight. Whatever you do, just find somewhere else to sleep. He was like, oh, okay, and he actually had to stop home to, like, pick something up, and then he saw, he saw this girl, and he was like, oh, shit, yeah, I'm definitely not coming home tonight. So anyway, and, uh, I, I wasn't really feeling it with either of them, so what I did is I told, told her to take me to band practice. So she drove me the half hour to band practice, and then I was like, okay, now you go hang out at the mall while I'm at band practice. So her and her friend just went and hung out at the mall by themselves while I was at band practice jamming out with, with my band. And then, like a few hours later after band practice was over, I was like, hey, come pick me up. <laughs> so she, they came back, they picked me up, and... Yeah, sorry. I just had to watch the little striker striker streak uh they came back picked me up and then we went back to the apartment and then what happened was we were we were just hanging out and you know me and this one girl all we wanted to do was fuck each other like that's that's it that's what we came that's what we came there to do and her friend her little fat disgusting friend was just sitting there in our room crying you know, just bawling her eyes out, and her friend's like, what's wrong, what's the matter? And she's like, oh, nothing, nothing, everything's fine. And so, like, I can't just say, hey, get out of my room, so I can bang your friend. Because, you know, I'm a little bit nicer than that. So anyway, she finally, after like an hour of the most awkward silence, you know, just trying to find something to talk about, she finally goes to her room. Or, like, the couch, pretty much. And me and the other girl just go at it, you know. Oh, and on a side note, during the sex, she uh, she really wanted me to choke her, which is uh, definitely something new for me. And uh, apparently I wasn't choking her hard enough, so she asked me to choke her even harder. And so that was a little awkward, because I really thought I was killing this girl. But now, you know, I don't mind it. <laughs> on a, yeah, just don't worry about that. And... Then we go to sleep, and this girl was the best person I've ever, like, fallen asleep with because she did not move. She seriously didn't move at all. It was amazing. It was like I was sleeping by myself. And then the next morning, her friend texts me, and she's like, Hey, uh, we need to go because of what happened last night. And I was like, Okay, well. You know, that's fine. So I wake her friend up, you know, the one beside me. I was like, hey, your friend said you guys need to leave. She's like, oh, why? And I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. So, 
they they get ready to leave and we're all we're all getting ready and her friend comes up to me and she's like oh I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened last night you see I had a miscarriage in your bathroom and at that point you know I didn't really think anything of it I didn't put two and two together but in case anybody out there doesn't know what a miscarriage is that's when you're pregnant and the baby dies and it and you pretty much give birth to a dead fetus or some kind of bloody mess so later I realized what happened and I put together that she had pretty much shit a dead baby out into my toilet and flushed it and I was like what the fuck are you fucking serious and uh so I instantly blocked her as soon as she left I blocked her deleted any any kind of like contact I had with her and oh wait just real quick watch this kill cam because it's funny so after that I just blocked all communication with her and never talked to her since uh, I hope you guys like the first installment of Storytime with Roger please let me know what you thought peace out and have a good day